Chemical reactions tell us about a metal's reactivity. Mix zinc with copper oxide, lay the mixture out on a heat-proof mat and heat one end. A reaction soon begins and spreads through the mixture without further heating. Zinc is reacting to form zinc oxide, which is yellow when hot. But what else has formed? Place the remaining solid in dilute acid and, after a few minutes, you can see pure copper. Zinc has reacted with the oxygen in the copper oxide, leaving copper behind. So zinc is more reactive than copper. Aluminium is another reactive metal. Its reaction with iron oxide gives out a huge amount of energy. A measured amount of aluminium is mixed with iron oxide and placed in a small pot. Potassium permanganate is sprinkled on top. And glycerol is added. The vigorous reaction between potassium permanganate and glycerol gives out enough heat to start the main reaction. Red hot molten iron falls into the bucket. The aluminium has reacted with the oxygen in the iron oxide, leaving iron metal behind. So aluminium must be more reactive than iron. This reaction is so effective that it's used on a larger scale for welding iron railway tracks together. Molten iron fills the gap. and a grinder makes it smooth. 